watching Shake It Up with Shantae. Yes, I am back with another video. If this is your first time tuning in, thank you, thank you so much and welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back and thank you so, so much. Today I will be giving you a tutorial and showing you my way of how I make my peach cobbler. It's really straightforward, it's very simple, and it's very easy to do. So if you like me, um, I like a more doughier peach cobbler, like I like more crust in my peach cobbler than I do peaches per se, and I know a lot of people like that. So I'm gonna show you my way of how I make my peach cobbler. So if you're interested, keep watching, let's shake something up. So what you're gonna need is you're gonna most definitely need this pie crust. This is already rolled out pie crust. No, we would not be making pie crust from scratch. That takes too much time and we're not gonna be doing that. So this is the best thing that I've come across in Walmart. So this is a great pie crust. It's just like homemade without the hassle, just like it says. It's two in here and I will probably be only using one. They come like this in the pack, rolled up dough just like this. So you want to have them kind of sort of been sitting out for about an hour. So you would need that. You will need some vanilla flavoring. It doesn't have to be the original, um, the best vanilla flavoring because we're not baking anything from scratch, but we are making a semi-homemade peach cobbler. Um, you need some ground cinnamon. Um, I have some cooking spray, butter cooking spray for my pan. I have some brown sugar, a whole stick of butter. I have a half a cup of milk a half a cup of flour, a half a cup of sugar, and two cans of 29 ounce of peaches. All right, these are peaches that in heavy syrup. No, we will not be cutting up peaches today. So we're gonna start really quickly. I'm gonna turn my stove on, medium high heat. I'm gonna go ahead and add my whole stick of butter. It's a whole stick, I just, a little bit was used, so I'm gonna take another half a stick that I have over here. I'm gonna use half of that, now there you go, that's a whole stick of butter. Sit that to the side. I'm gonna let this cook down in here, now I'm gonna add my brown sugar. You're gonna need a half a cup of brown sugar to go with your whole stick of butter. I didn't measure this out because I kind of know what a half a stick kind of sort of, I mean a half a cup kind of sort of look like. So I'm going to let my butter and my brown sugar come together. Okay. Alright, so now that my um, sugar and butter has melted through, you're just going to stir it. And you're going to have it on kind of medium-low heat. You don't want it to burn. Once you get that butter and that sugar um, combined together like this, just all mixed in there well, then you want to go ahead and add one can of your peaches with the syrup. And then you want to strain the other can, strain the juice off the other can. Just like so. And then you're going to add that. Okay. So now that I have poured my second can of peaches in here, I'm going to mix this just like so. And I'm gonna let this simmer until the peaches get a little bit more tender and my sauce get a little thicker. And I still have it on medium high heat or medium low heat because I don't want it to burn. So I'm gonna let this, now, if you're just cooking a little, just a small batch, that 29 ounce can of peaches it should be enough. I use two, but I really could have just used one. Um, I may not use all of this filling. Also, I like to do, 
if I had a potato masher, I would crush some of my peaches up. I don't like my peaches whole like this. I'm going to let them cook down until they're nice and soft. That's how I like my peaches in my peach cobbler. I like them nice and soft and I like them in smaller peaches. I hate to dig into a peach cobbler and it's whole slices of peaches like this because I'm more of a crust girl. So I'm going to let this sit here and let this cook. Let it simmer for about 10 minutes. And I'll come and show you after 10 minutes what it looked like. All right, you guys. This has been boiling now for about 15 minutes. I'm going to turn the stove off. My sauce did thicken up a little bit. And my peaches did get a little softer, which is great. It doesn't have to be super thick. Your syrup for this recipe doesn't have to be super thick. And I'm going to show you why. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and add me about a tablespoon of cinnamon to this. While it's hot, I'm going to stir this in here. Just like this. Oh, if y'all could smell that. Mm, 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 mm. If y'all could only smell it. All right. And then I'm going to add me about two tablespoons of this vanilla in here. All right. Mm, 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 mm. That smells amazing. All right, now. Let's move on to the next step. So over here in my bowl, I'm going to combine my half a cup of flour, my half a cup of sugar, and my half a cup of milk. You're gonna use regular milk, but I'm using eggnog. I only put the eggnog because it's seasonal and it's season time. So that's why it's, you know, it's the holidays. So that's why I'm using eggnog. But you can always use, and the recipe calls for regular whole milk. But I use a whole cup of eggnog. Half a, a half a cup of flour, a half a cup of sugar, and I used a whole cup of eggnog. So what I'm going to do is take my pan. Lightly spread before I pour this batter in here. Lightly spread. I'm gonna pour this batter in the bottom, just like this. At this point here, if you wanna take your batter, you wanna sprinkle a little sugar, a little cinnamon, a little nutmeg, whatever you want to do to it, you can do it because it is your peach cobbler that you're making and you can do what you want to do with it. And don't let nobody else tell you otherwise. So I'm going to take my peaches and I'm going to spoon this right into this. And you can put the broth, you can put the, the syrup in there as well. I just want to make sure that I have peaches all over this before I put my syrup in here. Okay. Don't stir this. Just lay it right on top just like this. And this is a 9 by 13 glass baking dish. So if you have a bigger dish, then hey, you're going to put more peaches if you like. So that's not all the peaches that I made. So now I'm going to add this broth right on top, just like this, and spread it out. I would normally use regular size um, can of peaches, but I sent someone else to the store for me. Y'all know how that is. So they got the bigger can, but I normally use the small one because we don't have a big household, so I don't have to make as much. 
and I'm going to sit this to the side and I'm going to roll out my dough. So I spread it out my dough. This is the one roll just like this that has set out to get a little soft. So I'm just going to cut this and this is a pizza cutter. So if you have one of these, you can use it. I'm just going to make these lines just like this. Okay. I'm going to put this on here just like this. And y'all don't have to be perfect. It does not have to be perfect. If you want to make it perfect to take to that Christmas party at your job, then do, then do so. But it does not have to be perfect. All right, so I'm gonna brush this with a little melted butter on top. I have my oven already preheated at 350 degrees. I'm gonna cut off the excess dough around the top because I don't want it to burn. So I'm gonna take this melted butter and brush it across the top of this dough just so it can brown evenly. take some I just took a little bit of brown sugar and some cinnamon mixed it together just like that I'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit on top and that's it in the oven it goes I don't know how long exactly it's gonna cook I know it's gonna take at least about 35 minutes 35 to 40 minutes but we'll come back and check on it when, when I start smelling it. All right, you guys. So it took approximately about 40 minutes to bake. I'm just taking it out of the oven. So I'm going to give it a minute to cool down before I dive into it. All right, y'all. So it has been 15 minutes. And my peach cobble has cooled down. It's not all the way cool. It's cool enough. Y'all see I'm getting kind of big piece because... I really want this. Look at that peach cobbler. Mm. Look at that. Look right here. Look at the peach cobbler and the sauce is oozing out of there. Mm, that looks good. So I'm going to put me a little cool whip on top. Mix the extra creamy brand. If you want to put you a little bit of um, ice cream, you can do that. It's your peach cobbler. So I'm going to put a little whipped topping on top of mine, a little extra scoop. All right, y'all. So look now. I got me some peaches, some whipped cream, some crust, a little bit of that dough stuff I made for the bottom. Mm. Let me go ahead and taste this because I can't wait. It's still a little hot. Mm. 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 What I tell y'all? This is good. It's flaky. It has the crust at the bottom. The little mixture that I made with the eggnog. Now, let me tell y'all this. It does cause for milk. 
But since it's the holidays, everybody is using eggnog. Why not? I can't really per se just drink eggnog, but I can put it in, put it in some cake, some peach cobbler. You can do whatever you want to do with it. It's yours. This is how I make my peach cobbler my way. So I'm teaching you how I do that. Look at the flakiness of the crust. Look at the peaches. Look at all that dough, that that crust that I made, that mixture. Look at that. That that makes this extra special for me. Mmm. You can taste the real butter. You can taste the crust from the the actual dough that I cut up, the pre the pre made dough that I got from Walmart. You can actually taste the crust. It's kind of like a crusty, flaky on top. It is really, really good. By all means, y'all do this how y'all want to, cause this is good. Mmm. Don't let nobody tell y'all nothing different. This is absolutely amazing. Mm. Now, don't sit up here and eat all that peach cobbler like I'm finna do. The rest of it that's on my plate. If you, if you think it's a little bit too sweet and you want to cut down on the sugar, you can. But I, I promise you, it's not it's not sweet. It's not sweet as you think it. Because the eggnog was sweet. And then I put um, actually a cup of sugar in. That's all I, I, that's all I used was a cup of sugar. I used a cup of brown sugar, a half a cup of brown sugar, and the peach sauce that I used. And I used... A half a cup of, cup of the white sugar so it's only one cup of sugar and the eggnog was sweet itself so you know that's what made it sweet but it's perfect it's the perfect texture so let me know if you guys like this let me know if you tried it or if you make your peach cobbler similar to this just let me know in the comment section. I want to appreciate you all for tuning in to Shake It Up with Shantae tonight. If you have not done so, go ahead and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and don't forget to like this video. Also, don't forget about that notification bell. Every time I upload a video, you'll be notified. Thank you guys. Have a nice night. I'm going to finish enjoying this peach cobbler.